Check out ProBoxingSupplies.com, PowerPerformanceProducts.com, and you're watching MMAInterviews.tv. You know, I fought Johnny Hendricks not too long ago, and he's obviously, you know, top contender now. And, uh, you know, even Paul Bradley is a four-time All-American out of Iowa. So, you know, as far as wrestling goes, I think I've dealt with guys similar or at least as good as, as Josh Koscheck. But, you know, he's been around a long time. He's already had a title shot. Um, good fighter. So, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to the challenge. Where do you feel like your advantages might lie? Um, you know, I I think I'm pretty good striker. You know, I've, I've developed my striking over the last couple of years, and uh, you know, my clinch game is pretty good. And if I can get someone pinned up against the, the cage, I think I can take advantage of some spots there. Like I said before, I think he's got a lot to lose, and I got everything to gain. You know, I don't think this was a you know the n most desirable fight for him. I think he want it would love love to fight someone a little more clout right now to get back in that uh, picture for you know fighting GSP again, but. You know, he's got to deal with me first. Who do you think might win uh, the main event side of Diaz Condit? Uh, I I'm leaning towards Diaz. I mean, both those guys are tough as nails, and you know, Diaz has got cardio for cardio for days. Uh, Carlos Condit, another one of those guys that just is going to keep fighting to the end, and I think it's going to come down to who wants it more at the end of the night. Can you talk about your camp and if there's any names that people would recognize that you brought in to imitate Josh's style? Um, you know, I I've been doing a lot of my sparring with uh, Chael Sonnen. I mean, he's got some of the best takedowns in the business, so um, just a, dealing with him is a, a handful as it is, you know. I mean, he's quick. You know, he might not be a 170-pound fighter, but he's still quick at 185, and, and uh, he's definitely got the explosive, you know, power in, in his shots to emulate a guy like Josh Koscheck. So he's one of the guys, and um, th there have been some other wrestlers, uh, even the community colleges that have been getting ready for nationals. I went and trained with those guys for a little bit to kind of get ready for uh, – you know, the wrestling style that Josh brings. What are your goals in the sport and, and maybe potential matchups going forward? I know you're focused on this fight, just fights that really jump out at you for the future. Um, well, you know, a lot of people have been talking about me and Ellenberger at some point or, you know, some of these other guys that are, you know, climbing their way up the division. And, you know, I, I'm just looking forward to whatever, you know. I, I've been kind of given certain guys and, and just taking the opportunities as they come. So, you know, right now i got Josh Koscheck and that's really my primary focus right now. But after that, uh, I'll, I'll probably call someone. I'm just not sure who yet. Ask Chael. Chael's good at calling people. Yeah, you know, he'll probably help me. He'll script <laughs> something out for me, and uh, we'll get it together. <laughs> Has he helped you prepare for uh, Koscheck's verbal assault? Uh, you know, there really hasn't been much of a verbal assault from Koscheck. You know, it's kind of... you got a press conference tomorrow. Yeah, well, we'll see then. You know, I, got, I still got some surprises in store for Koscheck later, but uh, you guys will see it weigh in. But, um, uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> fright wig. I feel a fright wig coming. <laughs> it, it'll be funny. But, um... Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't try to imitate Chael. I mean, he's got his own thing got coming and, or going on, and I, I don't think I can compete with that, so I'm just going to do my own thing. Did you think he won that fight with Bisping? You know, I did. I think he did enough to win. I don't think he was the same Chael that we saw fight Anderson Silva. I think, you know, physically he'd look a little bit different. Uh, he didn't move quite like he did in, in the Anderson fight, I think. So I don't know what it was in his camp maybe that went, you know, a, a different direction, but... You know, I think he'll be ready for Anderson. You know, he hates to lose, and he, he so close to winning, you know, and I'm, I'm sure he wants to get some redemption. How's the weight cut for you? What's your weight at? Uh, 170. It's going good. No, I mean, <laughs> my weight, I'm, I'm probably about 12 over right now, so I'm doing fine. And, you know, the weight cut, it's always something you dread, but it's part of the game, and I'm ready for it. I want to fight in Ireland really bad. I do. I just think that would be fun. They love fights, and, uh, you know, my great-grandfather was uh, – Irishman, so I would really love to go over there and fight. I've never been. He scored. I've never been. You know, that's one of the another reason why I would love to fight in Ireland. It just has a lot of appeal to me. Yeah. You just gained yourself some fans. I it's think. oh, it's so it's. So <laughs> Godspeed and party on.